Hello, my name is Janeth, and today I am going to recreate this edit. It's going to look a little bit different just because as I was editing, I didn't really follow the first steps that I did to make this. But that's okay because an edit will always come out different every time you edit it, especially since your ideals change or you just don't think um, as you did the first time. But it's fine. As long as you make it work, as long as you make it work, it's fine and just as long as your edit looks good it's fine just make it work um, make sure not to stretch anything out and you should be great just hopefully this helps you and we're using the Apple Nardo and let's get started first things first is you start off with your blank canvas and then you start importing your resources like the background the hair the dress the, the character because you need the character that you want to manipulate and just crop out anything unnecessary that you do not need and just keep working like that. So just keep adding your resources. Once you are done adding your resources, make sure to hide them by clicking the little eyeball and just erasing them. And then we're going to start off with masking out the character because that's what you do. I am using the lasso tool because I like it best. Um, add a little bit of feathering to make it to make the masking look a little bit smoother. And just to skip on the masking, um, we're just going to fast forward a bit. But yeah, you, you get the gist. You just kind of keep masking out anything that you do not need. I do not need the hair because I want to add new hair. So you mask that out if that's your case. And you just kind of keep working at it until you're nice and your edit is nice and masked. Once you are done masking out your character, you want to work with the hair. I am using the, mag the magic wand tool because most of the background is white and then after that I use the lasso tool to remove the rest of the face of the character and then you're gonna want to transform the hair to fit Tinkerbell's face or I'm using Tinkerbell so I'm transforming to Tinkerbell's face go to tools and then flip rotate if need needs so for your character I need it so so the character the hair could be facing the same way as Tinkerbell so it could look a little bit better and always make sure to keep masking until the hair looks perfect on your character you want that you want the hair to look good on your character if this hair did not work with Tinkerbell I would have gone back and look for another hair to fit better on my on my character or I would just keep transforming the hair until I am satisfied with the way it looks to duplicate the hair so I can add a piece of um, a piece of her hair in the back of Tinkerbell's body so it could look like she has hair in the back so you're gonna want to mask it out and then you're gonna want to um, transform it or um, first put the layer in the bottom of Tinkerbell's body and then transform it and then you're going to want to duplicate it so it could go to the other side of the hair unless your hair, piece of hair is nice and thick so it could cover the whole thing but mine wasn't and yeah, so that's what you're going to do. I kind of wish I would have added another, a uh, masked out on the other side of Tinkerbell's ha ha um, hair to also go in the back as I did the first time. But I didn't think about that at the time I was recording this. So we kind of work with what we do. And now I'm going to add reduced noise on the hair so it could look a little bit smoother. Now select Tinkerbell or your character and work with the skin color so I'm going to adjust curves a little bit and move it a little bit up so she could look a little bit wider instead of yellow and you work the best as you want however color you want the skin to be and then after that um, I'm going to hide the hair so I can kind of see what I'm working with and now I'm going to duplicate Tinkerbell so I could get a piece of her skin so I'm going to go to tools and then crop and then crop out a bit of her skin 
You don't have to do this if you want to work with Sketch Club or another software to make this to disappear the dress. You can because this, this kind of looks a little bit pixelated. But um, if you don't have another software, this is the best way. So you just copy the skin, um, and then you will just kind of transform the skin to cover the hair. And then once you have covered the hair with um, while you're transforming it, you will want to mask it. So you go to the masking area and then use the brush tool or use whatever tool that suits best. And you kind of just work with it as I am. So, um, and the, the skin will kind of be a little bit pixelated if you didn't get um, a good chunk because you know, you kind of stretched it out. So you kind of want to add a little bit of feathering just so it could look a little bit smoother. And and if this, um, it keeps looking kind of nasty and if, and you have Sketch Club or uh, another thing, you could fix it with that. So now you're going to want to work with the dress, um, add magic wand, and you could see a little bit of the dress kind of um, disappeared along with it. So lower the tolerance a little bit and then use um, the magic wand tool. And then you kind of place the dress how best you can. I am now going to filters and I am going to filter the dress. Um, right now I'm in colorized image and just kind of lowering the things so my dress could change color because I wanted the, the dress to change color I actually couldn't remember how I did it the first time I wanted the polka dots black but it's fine um, as long as the dress looks good and it's colorized I don't really care um, color and I'm not I am now in color enhance so I'm enhancing the color I'm probably going to go back to color mixer and I'm going to change the dress to black and white because that's what you do. You change the dress to black and white. Um, you actually don't have to change the color of your dress if you don't want to. Um, it's totally up to you. However you want to do it. And then I am going to add a little bit of reduced noise. All reduced noise does is it smooths out the things so it's really it doesn't do much all it does is like smooth out the appearance and now I'm just gonna kind of keep adjusting the hairs and the dress until I'm satisfied and then we're going to move on from Leonardo and we're going to go to sketch club once I am done adjusting things Now on Sketch Club, I am adding the picture that we just did, transforming it, and just using the smooth brush to smooth out the hair and smooth out the skin. And just basically, that's all I'm doing, just adding, using the smooth brush. So we're just going to smooth out the things and we're done, basically. If you don't have Sketch Club, I don't think you really need to do this, but if you do have Sketch Club or possibly Procreate or any other drawing app. Um, I don't know, just do whatever makes your edit look best and make it work. I'm perfectly honest, I think I liked the edit better the first time I edited it. But I feel like an edit always looks better the first time you edit it. Because ideas are better when you're focused and you're doing it because you want to. And I was just doing it for a tutorial, so I'm sorry about that. Um, also, all you really need to know to keep continue making these types of edits is knowing how to mask. So as long as you know how to mask and you know how to use the masking tools, the transform tools, and if you have the resources, you should be able to manipulate anything. Always make sure that the hair or the dress or the clothes or anything looks good with the character you're working on, know how to recolor, and 
just keep working with what you're doing and you should be fine um yeah so just make sure the tools work good and make sure you don't stretch anything out and you should be perfectly fine you should continue with practice you will be able to manipulate anything you want to manipulate and with many ideas that you have and the editing software if you have Leonardo you should be able to make all sorts of these tutorials also if you have the app superimpose and possibly other um, editing software like Photoshop and just others and just get to know your softwares and if you get to know your softwares you'll know your limitations or your not limitations and you should be fine okay I'm going all the links are below and thank you for watching I have no idea when I am going to make another tutorial but I eventually will